Hi, I'm Pastor Randall Neal at Zion Lutheran Church in Hopkins, Minnesota. Today is Tuesday, March 9th, 2021. I want to spend a little time with you talking today about sports. Now, I played a lot of sports during high school and college and even beyond. And I generally enjoyed the various sports I participated in. In high school, I played baseball, track, wrestled, and played football, and lettered in all of those. I worked hard to achieve some success in college. I did the football and wrestling thing, and again, succeeded there in, in many respects. I enjoyed it. Well, any of you who have been involved in any of the sports activities, and you can apply this to other areas of life, but sports particularly become very obvious. Uh, maybe in your younger years, maybe you still are. Well, you know what I'm talking about? That when I say it takes effort, it takes energy, it takes dedication to be successful. Not necessarily to be on the team, but to be successful, you do. You got to work at it. Now, I was blessed over the years to have some pretty good coaches in each of those sports. Now, let me tell you that they, they conditioned us well and they produced champions because of it. And I'm thankful to have been part of many of those teams. Well, one football coach in particular made a special impact on me and, and many of my teammates. This was early on in my sporting career. And the lesson this coach taught our team certainly went against our natural instincts. I mean, no one is real anxious to get injured, right? Are you? I'm not. A player's natural tendency is to hold back a little when they're making a hit on another player. That's the way it goes. You're coming in, this great big guy coming at you with pads on. He's going to smack you. You want to kind of pull back and say, hey, don't hurt me, buddy. That's the natural inclination. But the coach said, you do that, and it's going to go poorly for you. The player's natural tendency is to hold back a little when they're making a hit on another player, when they're, when they're blocking or when they're tackling so they, they won't get hurt. You know you want to be careful so you're not injured, so you kind of hold back. Coach says, don't do it, boys, don't do it. He told us that's a mistake because holding back, they said, is the best way to get hurt. Playing tentatively, playing half-heartedly. And here's how they put it. Either give it all you got or don't play. Okay. Well, I heard that message over the years by more than one coach. And it kind of stuck with me. Because those words from that coach were and actually are a basis for some important life principles for you and me, my friends. In fact, it's a motto you could probably repeat to yourself often at work or playing sports, studying, doing dirty work of some kind, listening to someone trying to finish a difficult job. And here's the principle from God's perspective. This is the way God says it. It's from Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 10. He said, Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. Love it. Let me say it again. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. It's kind of what the coach is saying, isn't it? I'm sure the coach would like that. Whatever position you're playing in life, don't play tentatively. Throw yourself into it with everything you've got. St. Paul said it a little differently, but the same concept, Colossians 3, verse 23. He wrote, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. Whatever you do, you catch that? He's not talking just sports. He's talking about other areas of life as well. Now, if you ask my my own daughters and the many kids that I coached over the years in, in a variety of sports, if there was something they heard over and over again from me, it might very well be those four words that we tried to make a life model for them, not only for the sports, but for the other areas, the carryovers in life. And that is, with all your heart. If you have to do something anyway, my friend, why not do it with everything you got? If you have to be somewhere, why not be all there? <laughs> I saw a little slice of wisdom on, on a kitchen wall plaque a while back. I can't remember where, but it said this, Lord, help me to do with a smile the things I have to do anyway. <laughs> now, I think that's good advice. You see, God calls to all of us 
who belong to him to be a 100 percenter in anything and everything we do. So when someone, when someone is talking with you, you listen with all your heart, as if they were the only person on earth and the only thing that you had to do. When you work, you focus, you do it with all your heart. When it's time to pray, you pray with all your heart. You play with all your heart. You study with all your heart. You help out with all your heart. You see, that's the attitude of someone who knows that ultimately he or she is living a God-planned life. Now, I know you might say, well, I don't like the situation I'm in. Well, my friends, that shouldn't be what determines your attitude. It's true you can't necessarily help your situation, but you can control your attitude. Make every situation the best it can be when you tackle it, like the Bible says, with all your heart. With all your heart. Remember God said, whatever you do, do it with all your heart. And not just the things you feel like doing. You know, there's something very, I think, intoxicating, so to speak. Something magnetic about a person who enters into everything they do passionately and, and wholeheartedly. If you've ever known one of those kind of people, those with all your heart people, you know that kind of passion is a magnet that draws people. Everything your hand finds to do, would you do it with intensity? In football, in everyday life, playing tentatively invites injury and it surely invites defeat. So, like the coach says, either give it you've all, all you've got or don't play. Hey, thanks for listening. Hang in there in these days that God gives us.